Hello everybody. In today's tutorial, we'll be doing this. I'll be teaching you how to do this. Man with the uh, neon outline. Now if you can see there is uh, two different shades, uh, different colors for the neon. There's a yellow and then there is the reddish orange as well as a glow around the head. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. First of all, we need to get a photo. Okay, so you go to elements and you type in Let's say man, okay, and you look through the photos to find a suitable one. Now there are free and there are pro. Currently, I'm on pro because I find it really worthwhile to um, subscribe to Canva Pro. They have so many elements, so many templates, fonts, and um, you know you can even upload your own fonts once you get the pro version. And they're constantly adding new new things. So I, I personally think it's worth it. But you can do this for free, for sure. You just have to look for a, a photo, uh, not a graphic, a photo of a man, woman, uh, you know, whatever you want. But for this, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be getting a photo of a man. Okay, I found uh, the photo. Now, as you can see, there is a background. We need to remove this background. So if you have the pro version, you just click this, highlight this image, go to edit image, and you just remove the background. Okay, you click the background remover, and it's going to remove the background. Now, if you do not have a pro version and you have a free version, there is a site that will allow you to remove the background for free. In this case, let me just click on buy. And the other uh, free program, it's called a um, remove the background. So I'll just show that to you. There is also a link in the description below. So you can look at it. Uh, it's www.remove.bg slash upload. So here it is. You upload the image and it will remove the background for you. Now, going back to the tutorial, so what we do now, okay, we can uh, enlarge it for now. Now, what I did was edit image, okay, edit image, and then we go to something called shadows. Okay, here it is, shadows. And you see all, and you go to glow. Click on glow. and then let's just bring it a bit closer so that you can see click, click on globe and then you see these uh, lines here to adjust you click on that okay and then you can adjust the glow now I want a orangey effect maybe even a bit of a yellow so and then you increase the size Increase the size, you can see it's increased, right? You can have it a bit more vibrant, making it yellow. Okay, so increase the size. Now, the transparency, you in bring it all the way up so it's really yellow. Now, you can adjust this, you know, if you don't want it to be that uh, yellow, for example. Okay, I'll do that again. The size. It brings it smaller, and as you increase, it's, it's thicker, as you can see. Transparency again, you can make it a bit more, less transparent, and all the way. For this one, I would be going to make it to 100, okay, and the blur, I will just bring it down a little bit, okay? Just a little bit to down, sorry, I mean up. Um, just a little bit to about 12. Okay, now click apply. Let this apply. Then what you can do is you click it again. Okay, you go to edit image again. Okay, edit image. And what I did was I 
went to the shadows again. Now the glow is already here. If you've already done it, it will bring it up here. But let's just go to see all. Now what you have to do is, when you're doing this, make sure you click out and that it's 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 actually, uh, what do you call that, uh, applied the neon glow function that you want, okay? Because otherwise, if you do the next step, it's just going to mess it up. So make sure that once you do this, okay, it's already applied. Then what you do is you click that again. Now, I'm, I'm bringing it a bit closer so that we can see. You go to Edit Image. Now, you go back to Shadows. And you click the Glow again. Okay. Click the Glow. Now, what this is going to do is actually add another glow. So, you, you click those three lines. Now, what it did was add a black glow. If you can see, there's a black there. Now, we don't want that. What I want is a reddish glow. Okay, we can check that out by, again, bringing the size up. Okay. Transparency. And this time the blur. Let's make it a bit more blurry. Okay. Transparency down a bit as well. And even the size, perhaps. So you can adjust this. Okay? Just adjust it to what you want. Okay. You look up here. Now, the difference here is I did actually the same thing, but I did a, a double yellow and then this red. So it makes it look as if there's a bit more. So what you can do, okay, I will do that again, which is yellow. So that we can see. So, so this time I want the transparency to be good. Not so transparent. I don't want the blur to be that much either. Okay. And the size, I'll leave that. Okay. And you apply it. Now, again, like I mentioned before, Wait for it to be applied. Okay, so this is highlighted here, which means that that's for 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 the one that we just did. Okay, so what you do is you can maybe click out and you click back in, and then when you edit image, you look at see if it's still like shadows here, which means if you go in now, it's just going to adjust what you just did. So let's. Now, click, out, click again, we go to edit image. Depends on how fast your internet speed is, okay? Now that we've applied that again. Now we go back, we go to see all, we go back, we add the glow again. Okay, and this time, Go to the adjusting and instead of black, see you can see the black and put a red in there. Okay. And you can adjust the size, the transparency, and you can make it quite blurry. So you look here, that's how blurry it is. Okay. So you can just make it up. You can just make out the red, but at the same time you can see it is red. Okay. So you Apply that. Let's 
size. Now what you can do is you can just resize it. So I've resized it till his shoulders are right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this here where his is going to be. Okay, now I'm going to. Okay, so just have to keep adjusting it to where we want it. The look up here is, is there. So maybe just a bit more. Like I said, it's up to you how you where you want it. There. Now, what makes this stand out a bit more is the fact that I'm going to put something behind. Go to elements, right? Type in glow. And I found it and I've clicked it. Now find the yellow one because it will go with the what we've done. Okay, so we sort of adjust it. So what we do is now for that one, we position it backward. Okay, and then we need to adjust it so that it just shows up behind his head. And you, you. And you can move this around to adjust. Okay, this is the glow, right? So we'll just move this a bit, just for a little while, because I want to get the, the background. So we can move him as well. Let's see, just get the background. Because there are easy ways to do it, but for me, this is, this is easy. Well, let's not go for black. Let's just go for something that's a bit more, yeah. Okay. We bring him back here, and then you can see this glow behind, right? So you can adjust it. You want to adjust it a bit more, and then move it so that so you look here. See? Just adjust it again. Another thing you can do, it, as you saw, it was transparency at 100. You can just duplicate that again and then send it backward. So then it's a bit more like this, a bit more, well, it's not subtle. Now the difference here is the red, if you can see, I did not make it as soft as this one. So, which is why I was saying that you can adjust it to how you want it. Now, in this case, it looks more uh, fiery, it looks more intense. But in this, it is a bit softer and a bit more subtle, but the yellow is quite intense. See, again, this is the difference, you see, for the yellow, for the second one, is you know, if you remember, I did it three times, right? The first glow, second, and the third one, which is the reddish one. So the first one, I left it as such. The second one, I actually made it a, a bit more blurry. So that's why it's a softer edge, if you can see. And then the red one, which is also, uh, which wasn't as soft. So you can play around with this. Now, in this one, what I did was I made the first and the second quite harsh. It wasn't blurred so much. And then the third one, which is a reddish one, I made it a bit more uh, subtle. So this is it. And as you can see, you can just, you know, play around with it, see what you want. You can change the background. Now I put a, a grayish background just to match his 
sort of a shirt and jacket a bit so that it stands out instead of black as usual. So this is it. So play around with it. Um, you know, you can use it for different... It doesn't have to be a man. It can be anything. It can be any object. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please do like, subscribe, comment. And uh, yeah, hit the, the bell uh, icon so that you're notified when I put up another video. Bye for now.